what's going on? Welcome back. It's your boy, Worst Effing Gamer, and today we are awakening another hero, as you can tell. This time, it's gonna be Kara, the enigmatic killer. I just love saying that, guys. Kara. Reminds me of Naruto. Naruto. Kara. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's begin. As you can already see, she's maxed out orange plus two. Maxed out everywhere. And, um... We are about to go to part number two because part number one, I've enchanted already. So let's go ahead, part number two. All right, so part number two, we got to do the Dwarven Forge. So everybody, over to the Dwarven Forge. Let's go. All right, there we are. That was quick. Dwarven Forge, you have met your match. And her name is Kara. She is going to sweep. That's it. That is finished. So we are done with that. Let's go back, guys. And part number two. Should be doo-doo. Yep, it's over. Let's complete this. And uh, part number three. Without anybody getting killed. No problem. That's one of the easiest ones to do, guys. So, as always, let's think of a really tricky team to use for this one, guys. Especially in this account here. Ha! Who do I want to use? Uh, You know what? Let's go with the... the I'm going to go with the OGs. The original gangsters of this game. Your starting team. Uh, we got Elric. We got Gale. Ember. Flora. And uh, who else was your starting team here? How come? Oh, it's Boomer. But you know what? Let's take Flora out because she only heals. Let's go with Boomer. How about that? Let's go, guys. The OG squad. Can they do it? Leave now and I'll let you go. Yes, you bastards. Alright, I guess we can just auto-fight this. Shouldn't be hard at all. Even your... Yeah, well, I'm gonna auto-fight this and I'm gonna see who's gonna do what. But well, looks like Ember is killing it. Her AoE magic attacks are always pretty good. I told you, don't mess with me. Kara, there she goes. Her ultimate is insane now, guys. So we'll find out exactly what her awakening is gonna do to her. Uh oh Ooh, that actually didn't do much. Gale! Waste of an ultimate. But that's okay. This is gonna be easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. Almost there. Okay, let's go. Finish him off here. Double ultimate once again. And wow, Ember's ultimate is doing a lot of damage here to everybody. She's definitely gonna be the top damage dealer. You can just tell. Finished! Finally! Yes! Or the other way around. So here we go. Three star that. Let's check out the details here. Let's just curiosity kill the cat. And wow! Told you guys, Ember will do the most because of her AoE magic. I gotta test around her a little bit more. I think she might be better than anticipated. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's complete this now and let's see what's gonna happen to our girl Kara now. Whoa! That's pretty freaking sick. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So now she's all of a sudden a very fancy lady, huh? Like she grew up in a fancy house with a fancy dress. No freaking feet still. But that's okay. And look at this. I told you guys, it's very, very fancy. You might think she's hot and beautiful in her new dress. And then you realize that she's got no legs. Because you can't see it from this picture. The enigmatic killer will kill you slowly. Alright, so there we go. New ability unlocked. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's take a look at the new dream potion ability that she just got. And the first time Kara is near death. She will take a potion, which puts her into a deep sleep for 5 seconds. While sleeping, she is immune to damage and recovers some health. Whoa, so we just awakened her so she could go right back to sleep. Ha, <laughs> very cool. Alright, so let's go ahead. Uh, what's... So 8.45 health per second recovers. What's... It goes up at 0.05. So that's not a hell of a lot, but I think it'll be enough. Alright, so at 21, it's that much. So we can go up to 40 here. So it'll be over 10% per second. So for how long is it going to be? For 5 seconds, 10%. So about 50% health. Hmm. Hey, not bad at all. Because all of a sudden, guys, now I already see her. Her worst enemy has always been uh, Nightshade. Has always been Volko. Especially Volko. Every time I use her, my opponents always use Volko and destroy her. Because she doesn't get her ult ultimate off in time. And then Volko just kills her quickly. But now, I think this is going to be enough time for her to not die and maybe survive. So, we're going to put that to the test. So, let's go ahead. Check out the ruins. Now, I can actually equip her with some ruins. 
This one is physical attack. Oh, I don't want that. And here I got physical attack and magic attack. It's only blue though. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna give her just this blue one for now. Just so she can have a little bit more of a boost. But I'm gonna work on her a little bit later, right? So, on to the next step, guys. Alright, so the next step is the forge. So, we're going to try to forge her as much as possible here. So, let's go auto forge 50 times for free. And then I also have a free forge that I can do, an ultimate. And then, uh, I'll work on forging her a little bit later, alright? But, for now, we'll see what we can do here. And also, I will show you guys her Heroic Academy, because that's already been completed. It's all set. I'll show you what I got there. And then we can go on and test her out with some battles, because I think she's now ready for the arena, guys. Still not ready for raids or Hall of Legends, but I think she'll be ready for the arena, for sure. So let's go ahead. Let's do the ultimate Free Forge here. Ooh, that's 31. You know what? I'm going to do a few more here. Let's just keep going. All right, 39. At least just until I unlock... Oh, no! Look at that. Not enough. I just want to unlock the first ability there. There we go. Finally unlocked the first ability here, which is Magic Pierce Rating. Nice. So plus 30 in Magic Pierce Rating. So another boost to her. Now, let's go head over to the Heroic Academy. All right. Here we are, guys. Heroic Academy is all set for her. So let's take a look at what we're working on. Magic Armor, Healing Ratio, or Spell Recovery Time. Um... I think now it's going to be better to have healing ratio on her because of her ult uh, awakening there. So let's go ahead, dodge rating or hit, increase hit recovery. I want to dodge. Energy bonus, energy efficiency, and ability. Magic resistance, max health. Resisting silence, magic toughness, and magic crit rating, some more magic crit rating. Alright, so that's what I'm working on, Heroic Academy, guys. Now, let's go ahead, test her out in a real-life battle and see what she can do. Alright guys, so I'm in second rank right here in the arena as you can see. So I'm going to face the number one, the Twin Banana. My boy, the Twinner. The Twinny Banani. So let's go ahead, he's got a pretty rocking team there. So all I'm going to really do is I'm going to subtract Magnus for Kara. Alright, that's all I'm going to do just to test this out. Let's see if it'll work. I'm not really sure, but we'll give it a shot here. Uh, Volko scares me there. She's also, I mean, he's also got um, Raymond there, which this team is scary all around. Four frontliners and then Magnus in the back. So we'll see if Kara does her thing here. Let's go ahead and test her out. I'm keeping an eye on Kara here because Volko is on her case here. And this has always been a problem for her. She dies quickly, but now she's already a little bit better. So she's surviving more. Uh oh, Melroth. Ooh, big ultimate for Melroth. Uh oh, she might die here. Yes, she's going to catch somebody here. Who is it? Oh, I didn't see who she caught, but she caught somebody. She's not dying yet, so already a plus, guys, because normally she'd be dead by now. She's still not dead. Wow. Uh oh, Soraya's dead here. Where is she? She's still alive. Holy moly. Can we get another ultimate from her? Whoa, we got the win, boys. Ooh, yo. That's impressive. Alright, she didn't do that much damage, but I got the number one win versus a really, really strong guy, guys. One of the strongest guys in the whole game, so uh, I'm loving that a lot. I'm going to substitute her in there right now. Because this team worked out pretty good, so there we go, guys. Number one ranking with that team right there. This is a sick team, and Kara is amazing. I did not doubt it at all. She's a freaking beast. Wow, so let me go ahead, pull her up one more time here. One final opinion. Damn. That team worked. I tried it. I tried that same team with Magnus instead of Kara. It didn't work. I lost. But her survivability now has just jumped through the roof, guys. It's a lot better than before. Um, wow. Very impressive. I am very impressed with Kara's awakening here. So once I get this, you know, all the way up, more health, more survivability, and more of a beast of a hero. So Kara, I'm loving her right now, guys. I'm going to end this awakening right now. I will check you guys out on my next live stream. Till then, have a good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Peace out, guys.